Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. What I have today is the uh, SkyRC Brushless Motor Analyzer, the BMA01, or should I say BMA-01. Um, basically what this machine does, analyze your motor here. This motor here is a brushless motor censored. Uh, a lot of people don't know there is a timing on it you can, right where my finger is, you'll see numbers here, and you can physically rotate, uh, let's say you can rotate the back of the comm uh, to a certain degree and to get a little bit more out of your motor here. Um, and this guy here, instead of just guessing what you're doing, just by turning it and running your vehicle, it's just easier, you'll know how much, how much the RPM, things like that, uh, to be able to do it. There's two ways you can use this, this guy here, but before I explain this, let's open it and see what comes with it. One of the first thing when opening it, you'll see is your instructions. Now, even if I'm showing you the basic how to use this, I do suggest to read this manual this is the stuff I may not explain 100% and this manual here will explain it. It's not a complicated manual. Uh, it's like say six pages, give or take, and tells you a lot of information. If open this tab here, it gives us a bunch of wires that we will need. These are the leads that connect the main motor basically your ABC to the motor analyzer. You'll have your sensor wire. And they give you two power, basically XT60s to band on the plug if you want to plug it directly to a power supply. It does require power, uh, 7.4 to 8.4 volts. And they give you XT60 to a Tamiya if you want to plug it to a battery or something. I'm just going to power it off a battery today. And let's take this motor analyzer out of the box. Put the box somewhere else. And on the ground, why not? And here we have the motor analyzer. On one side you'll have your ABCs, your sensor motor. On this side here, you'll have your main power input. And you will have the dial here to be able to select it. And they do give you a place to rest your motor while you're analyzing it. Now, let's plug these wires here in, in it right now. It's just easier than trying to hook up on the motor at the same time. Now on these guys here, doesn't really matter what color you put, as long as you remember where's your A, B, C, they are. Plug this guy right here. I'll plug it to my battery. It will turn on, SkyRC version 1.30. That's the firmware in it. We'll grab our motor. We'll plug our sensor in it. Now you'll see ABC lights here. They're turning on and off when I'm turning the motor physically. The only thing here, it's a little bit harder to see. Let's see if I can maybe shut off a light. If you guys can see it a little bit better. Mm, that's even worse. 
Sorry about that, guys. The camera doesn't want to. And this, I don't think I can dim it. Let's see here. No, I can't dim it. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Now let's plug our main wires here directly to our motor. And I'm trying not to touch the physical case, motor case at the same time. But on certain motors, this is going to be a little bit harder to do. Now, like I was saying earlier, there is two ways you can do it. You can physically use it uh, directly on a vehicle with the motor plugged in the ESC still. And this one here really doesn't want to. There we go. You could even use like a, this uh, TC6 here. The motor's already installed it. We don't need to unsolder it. We can just tap into it, tap our sensor. Just make sure we remove the pinion. Once the pinion is removed, the motor is able to uh, spin freely. That's one of the things I love about this thing here. That's you could do. Now, one of the first thing we're going to go here and it's going to go check our motor timing. Now, the motor timing is the degree on the side here. If I look at it right now, I would say it's give or take 45, 44. But that doesn't mean this is going to be 100% accurate. This will should tell that perfectly. Now the motor will spin up. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. Now I was just checking the degree on it. Slows down, says finish, 48. And if I look at it here, I would say, it could be, that. I think it says 60 or 50 on the side, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it says 48. And this is all the different phases on it, you'll see right here, once it scrolls back, A is 49, B is 46, and 46 for the C. Now, what we're going to do, and we're going to go to KV to RPM. And slowly, we're going to ramp it up. And we're trying to get the maximum out of this motor here. So right now, at 17,000 RPM, we at 3.1, 3.0 uh, uh, amps. And we're trying to get closer to 6 amps. Now we'll full bore, 21,000 RPMs, we're at 4.8. Bring this down. Now we're going to grab our screwdriver, and there's three screws in the back. You're going to unscrew all three of them, not completely out, enough that you're able to rotate the back of the motor. Now before doing this video, I did put this, uh, loosen the two other ones. Now, we're just going to turn it a bit. And we're going to relock one of the screws. And we're going to bring it back to our motor timing. That way we'll be able to see what degree we're on right now. And those are numbers you should write down once you get to your magic number, let's say. Right now, we're, I'm trying to get it closer to 6 amp draw. So right now, it's at 53. Let's bring your back to KV to RPM. Now, you don't want this number to go too high because you physically can kill your motor. That's why I'm just physically turning slowly, watching my RPM, 2.6 at 30, close to 14,000 RPM. 
15, 4.1, 5.3 at 2000 RPM. So right now 7.7, .7, that's too much. I'm just going to back it up a bit. Doesn't need much. Bring it back to KV to RPM. Press start. Let's turn it. Nineteen thousand four point four, four point six, six point six, twenty two thousand. Let's bring it down a bit again. But we're very close to a number we want. Eighteen to nineteen thousand, three point nine, full blast, five point two at twenty one thousand RPM. I'm sure we can bring this a little bit higher. And you have to watch out too for your temperature of your motor. Okay. Nineteen thousand five point five twenty one thousand RPM. We might be able to tweak it so slightly. It always helps when you unscrew the screw correctly. I'm trying to get to the 22,000 RPM. And just for fun, let's check the timing, what she is at. We're at 50. I'm gonna check this guy. Eighteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. Four point six. Six point seven. Twenty two thousand. You can bring her down just a bit again. Now this is where patient plays off. I may not be able to get like six volts on the dot. Six amps should I say? But I'm gonna try. Five point six twenty two thousand RPM. I think this is going to be the sweet spot. Twenty one thousand eight hundred eighty five RPM at uh, five point six amps. I think this is going to be pretty much our sweet spot for this motor right here. Now, again, I just want to make sure that your motor might be completely different uh, on the side the, for the uh, spec side, but the uh, timing here. Uh, every motors are different. You could, I could test four motor as the same version as this guy here and not going to give me the same reading. Uh, that's possible too. But I think that I'm going to leave it at this and uh, pop it in my other, other touring car 
and uh, try it off the track and see how it is. And uh, yeah, now if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.